AR or augmented reality is often regarded as the next big thing. It offers an immersive experience without the need for any sort of extra peripherals. The first phone ever to support this kind of technology is the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro. It officially supports Tango and I did review the phone looking at it more from a general consumer perspective but this time around I'm going to be honing in on its AR capabilities and seeing how much potential it has for the future. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Even at this stage, you have a variety of different AR capable applications to choose from. The inbuilt AR pet application allows you to experience having a virtual pet and it basically follows you around. You could have a cat, a dog or a companion to share the day which makes for quite the amusing experience. If you prefer a more objective based game, reliving the experience of playing Hot Wheels is great. You're able to build your own tracks and play with the cars as if they're right in front of you. You really need to flex a muscle or two to make sure you're interacting with the track and the dynamics of the game really make it enjoyable and you often want to come back to it. On the other side, games like Ghostly Mansion really give you this spooky feel. You're stranded in a house and you're meant to collect items to progress to the next stage. Once again, you need to be agile enough to pick up the items and complete the stages but sometimes it gets quite challenging. It's actually great fun if you ask me. But there's more to Tango than just fun. The technology really has great potential to be incorporated into more practical scenarios. Applications like Dinosaurs Among Us and Loewy's Vision were the ones that really impressed me. Dinosaurs Among Us isn't just about visualizing dinosaurs. The app is made in conjunction with the American Museum of National History. The dinosaur figures can be scaled and by tapping on them you're able to learn more about their history. Certainly at present the variety of dinosaurs is limited but with time this could grow and the same concept could be used to study microstructures in biology or even chemistry. I know, I'm going a bit off topic but my point is it will really enhance the learning experience for the future. In the same breath, Loewy's vision is a tool allowing you to visualize the size of certain domestic goods. These range anywhere from stoves to chairs and I think a concept like this can make home decor a lot easier. The inbuilt measuring tool may provide inaccurate measurements from time to time but more often than not the scale of the appliances is quite accurate. I believe this opens up a new dimension for furniture companies like IKEA and Home Center and I don't think it'll be long before AR is more widespread in this field. And while I can continue with more useful examples, the one restricting factor on the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro is its hardware. Granted, the device was just to showcase the possibilities of what Tango can achieve and it's done that but if we are to take full advantage of this technology, I feel like implementing it with latest end processing power in a slightly smaller footprint would make it more accessible and popular. With that said, I definitely look forward to what Tango and Lenovo have in store for the future. If you want to learn more about the smartphone, definitely check out my review which I made earlier and let me know what you guys think about AR and its applications down in the comments below. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.